uh, welcome here, Dr. Das. I am very happy that you are here. Or uh, I would like to know about technology as Dr. Rajput and Dr. Thakkar has given such insight to it. So now what is technology and how we are going to involve uh, in our lifestyle? Thank you, ma'am. This is a very, very pertinent, very important question. And as both of them have said, technology touches every aspect of our life. And of course, the life of a person who has got either diabetes, who is the mother of all chronic diseases, is the mother of diabetes, the mother of hypertension, heart disease, obesity, uh, you know, kidney disease. So it touches. But before I start, madam, I must tell you that I'm amazed and delighted to see this pick up. You know, the National Guard, and you have painted the 28 states. I remember the worship, Sri Aurobindo, and we are celebrating the 150th year on the 15th of August. Sri Aurobindo said that India is not a piece of land. It is a combination of an integral aspiration of, a, of our motherland, which has its various branches. And it, it is known for its art. And I'm extremely happy that from Lord Jagannath to Pali Lab and all the states art we are represented here. It's a really masterpiece and congratulations. Thank you very much. I must, I must start by saying whatever we have discussed so far has been absolutely fabulous. We have said that eat appropriate, walk more, sleep well and keep smiling. That's the only way to, 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 to keep anybody's diabetes away and also to remit very well. But how do I do it? What are the ways that I can know how much I have worked, whether I've taken the correct food or the wrong food, whether my sleep was a good amount of sleep. We have got two types of sleep, madam, rapid eye movement and non-rapid eye movement. Whether my sleep was really peaceful or not. And whether I'm really debusting my stress or I'm always in distress or, or I have used stress. Now for every and each aspect today, we have a technology. I'll give an example. I like to put before you the fact that we have been advised a certain amount of food. You know, as a human being, we differ. All of us are different. I do not know if I take a potato, how much my sugar will go up. If you take one tomato, how much of sugar yours will go up. We never had an access to this type of data from our population. The, what diet suits a particular person? Before that, I tell you the little history that diabetes is a blood sugar disease. And to measure blood sugar, we are taking recourse to the instruments, which is almost like a start, uh, size of a two in one transistor come, come, come tape recorder. Technology has brought it down to mini glucometers, which can be taken in the pocket. And you can do it, go to the bathroom, I could do it. Now, today, Beyond that technology, we have a technology in which we have, we call it continuous glucose monitoring. I'll explain to you, madam. What is that? That your body is 24 hours, 24 by 7, into 60 minutes, into 60 seconds, your blood sugar is charted. Then one knows, so suddenly I find that graph and I say blood sugar has gone up at about evening. Then I come to know that at particular time, I have taken some food which registers my blood glucose. Then the next day I address it. Am I clear, madam? Yes. And, and, and I also come to know what activity of mine increases blood sugar, decreases blood sugar. It's not only sugar. I'll give another example, ma'am. Now, we have a saying, very important saying, ma'am. I, I, I hope you will appreciate it. That diabetes is a relentless disease. Why relentless? It affects the heart, affects the kidney, affects the eyes, uh, affects uh, the sexual function, affects the feet, amputation. But the advances in diabetes has been equally relentless. I'm happy to tell you that, madam, the, the advances in diabetes, which is the relentless disease, has been equally relentless. And those advances in every field of diabetes. But most astounding advances has been in the field of technology. One technology told you CGMS. Now, somebody asked me a question, therefore, I studied in one of the conferences, that whether this technology are affordable or they're very costly. I'll give a small example. But if do a blood glucose in any lab, a good cheap lab, they take 30 rupees. In this CGMS, I get 1700,000, 17 lakhs data at least over a 12 hour period. And if you calculate the money you have to pay for that, 
runs into lakhs. And this technology costs per day about 2300 in my place. I'm telling flash glucose monitoring. So it is very affordable. Third point I like to mention that if you want to really make an advance, say since we have got we are, we are doing physical activity, but if I know how much of calorie I am burning, how much of calorie I am not able to burn by this number of steps, or at least I know how many steps I have taken today. I mean, I mean, it is very important to know whether I have taken adequate number of steps for my age and for the type of activity I do or not. All this can be known by the application of technology. Third, and the most important point, why technology is important? It is a help that takes us beyond ourselves. Now, it has been rightly said that, you know, I'll give an example. Previously, insulin was given by needle and syringe. I remember a big businessman from this city who lost a business because the, the, the ink came out of that time, they were writing in the ordinary pen, not the fountain pen. He thought that can I not give insulin by a pen? Because you are traveling in the train, taking out that small box with the needle, fixing the needle, taking the series, giving injection, is a little bit of embarrassment. Today we have got pens. The, we call it delivery system of insulin. So various types of delivery systems are there today in our armamentarium which I can use it very easily. I can go to bathroom and take it. So much so, madam, that people ask me, they say, Hindi ka sang hai, pahle kyo nahi mile? They ask me, doctor, sir, pahle kyo nahi prescribe ki? It is so convenient. But coming to the real, real, real core of the matter is that today we have the know-how, the hard where the, the instrument and also the software, the applications in which I can judge things which makes my body go towards chronic disease. But um, four things are important which pushes me to chronic disease. Beautifully, my colleagues have said, I'll just tell simply, one is nutrition, what you eat. Number two, sleep, very, very, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a term called sleep hygiene, sleep. Number three, physical activity. And last is the stress. Now, to these four are called, in our terms, metabolic disruptors. They make the metabolism of ours wrong. That's why we get this all chronic diseases. Now, today, we get data, as I told you, from the blood, the continuous glucose assessment. We get the data from the heart, the heart rate assessment. And we take measurement of the blood pressure continuously for two, three days. We get 24 by 7 into 60 minutes and 60 seconds BP assessment. Madam, these three things, continuous blood glucose, blood sugar, and the, and, the, and the other assessments provides me the tool to know how should I handle it. And you know, I must tell you, madam, controlling blood pressure is more important than controlling blood glucose. And these instruments give the blood pressure measurement in the realm of plus minus four, which is negligible. Sugar, they give plus minus seven. Therefore, if we take recourse technology, it is a wonderful tool in our armamentarium to take care of our health, to give us a lot, to keep our, you know, I mean, you know, this technology today, we have te technology which provides us virtual coach. Provide, will she tell you today you have not walked a lot? It will give you virtual doctors who will say that you have not repeated your test. You know, diabetes can go into remission, but in today's parlance of words, we have not got the cure. Am I correct? Am I correct? Absolutely. And also, it's a, it's a sweet disease with sour company. What is sour company? The sour companies are the eyes complication, heart complication, kidney com food complication. Now, it tells you, the technology tells you. Today is your eye checkup. Have you gone to uh, such and such doctor? Today is your kidney checkup. This annual checkup has not been done. So a lot. And the reports, their analysis, their built in. And also it prompts you what action you should take. I must give a word of caution. It does not replace the doctor. It just makes you a lot. And the real life doctors who use this technology. So I will end by saying that technology in diabetes is absolutely important. 
it must be used. And you told about childhood diabetes. Ma'am, the childhood diabetes, just imagine a child, you know, the, like, like sunshine, insulin is his birthright. Am I correct or not? We cannot say some child. And this insulin has come to every child today because of technology. We call it genetic engineering. Am I correct, madam? Yes. It is, it is boundless. I mean, companies may be charging a little more, but the available, on, on, unlimited amount is available. So, madam, in every aspect of diabetes and chronic disease, technology plays an important role. And today, the choice is imperative. You have to use it. Use technology, otherwise you will not deliver the goods. Thank you, ma'am. If I may add one word to this technology intervention. Yes. Today, you have only four colors. Aple Gujarati ma kahiye lal pido ne vaadari. Moorang ke vaay. Moorang ke vaay. Baki na bija pada meda vadi thi thai. If you have data from diet, exercise, blood sugar, sleep, and other parameters, you can process that and you can use it to give a feedback to the patient. Exactly. Technology in diabetes and hypertension and lifestyle disorders is the cutting edge of technology. It is an intersection of belief, imagination, and science. Absolutely. And if you take this intersection, you can interject the disease. Then you talk about yeah. remission and reversal. Technology is the man for the company. Dava decide not to do it. You can do this technology over Zinus is the man for the company. So, how to use technology in a right, appropriate way, especially when for your disease, it is your doctor who yeah. will tell you that this technology is, is appropriate for you. And lastly, before we end, technology does not interfere and intervene into normal happiness of your lives. I, 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 you should I, I, learn digital it. peacock cannot replace your peacock. Your peacock. So a digital peacock is different. Your painting. Your digital peacock cannot replace this natural peacock which we have learned. So it's a, it's, a, it's a tool which has to be optimally used. Yes. I must tell you before I end one more thing. We, we talked about happiness. We have coined two terms called glycemic happiness or euglycemic. Normal blood sugar gives you happiness. Euglycemic happiness. Madam, I tell you, if sugar is high, you are dull. If sugar is high, your brain doesn't work well. You are feeling dull, sleepy. So there's a happiness and health are linked together. And technology Technology tool helps you to link the happiness and health. Thank you. Thank you, thank you madam. Absolutely. Thank you very thank much you. for this thank you. great thank you. discussion. Today. No, no. So uh, glad. Yeah.